morning folks in the woods crafting here so beautiful saturday morning sun's out minus 4c you hear the crunch on the crust so on our on our trails here i'm just gonna go out to uh see how the sav is running or this resin is running out of the spruce trees that i uh, trying to harvest the resin for my spruce sav about a kilometer out not a big thing like I said it's nice out walking on top of the cross this morning I'm gonna make ourselves a coffee maybe even a little bit of brekkie Got some uh, some eggs and some Italian sausage so like I said I'm not here to teach you anything just taking you along on the adventure stay tuned Hey guys, this is one of the trees that I uh, scuffed up to be able to uh, harvest the uh, spruce resin. Get a little closer here, you can see that it's just starting. It's just a little bit of a bubbling at the top. Not much here at the bottom. But uh, yeah, we're uh, going to see what the other ones bring out. Um, right now I'm not going to... Uh, to harvest what's there. I'm just gonna leave it. Uh, it's only gonna get thicker. So it looks like the outer layers of the bark are what's producing this uh, resin, but anyways, let's uh, see what else brings today's adventure. So just walking down to my uh, first little bridge here that I constructed uh, earlier this season. This is my uh, snowshoe trail. So the water is actually hitting the first log, I'm hoping it's not going to float away. So, as you can tell, there's still a lot of snow left in the bush. Uh, I just sunk at a couple of spots, uh, well above the knee, but shadowed areas. So, you know, take it for all it's worth. Oh, actually, I have some logs underwater. Waxy, Waxy, Roxy walked across, so not a big deal. It's not the direction I'm heading to this morning, but anyways, I say, stay tuned for the adventure. We're uh, almost uh, at all the uh, spruce trees that I uh, I want to harvest the uh, spruce resin from. Hey, y'all. So this is one of the trees that I've uh, trying to harvest some of the resin from. It's actually doing really well. So we'll come back another day to uh, harvest this. Um, it's quite soft. It's not like I uh, the hard stuff that I've always uh, I'm accustomed to. But uh, yeah, we'll. Uh, We'll bring a container. I don't know if the camera can pick that up, but there's a partridge not too far from me that is drumming on my left. And to my right, I can't see them. To my right, I have a woodpecker. So it's actually pretty cool out here. Roxy's in tune to what's going on here. She's all over the place, running around. Don't know what she's running to, but Stay tuned. Hey y'all, found a decent spot to make a little fire. It's got a nice little spot for insulating. As you can see, I've started processing firewood. Um, like I said, so I've got a balsam there with a bunch of low-lying branches, a good fire starter. But this big spruce here that uh, 
because it's just great right now to process firewood on and from all the branches so as you can see this is the old stump here so great place to hang my bag all about setup so this is a little uh, opening from the selective harvest um, you got most of the birch out of here a few years back but uh, quite different from what it is in the winter time snowshoe trail actually heads down here and curves around there's more spruce down there that uh, we're gonna go check later on but right now a little bit of brekkie running on empty running on fumes so uh, stay tuned we'll have a fire going and uh, make things happen youtubers so those of you that follow the channel uh, will probably notice it's the first time I'm gonna light my fire with matches uh, just trying different things I'm gonna try and do it with one match and uh, Like I said, if you're following the channel, um, you know that I made spruce salve the other day. So what we have here is the um, the bark and pine needles out of that spruce salve, but it's almost candied. I know there's a lot of resin left in here, and uh, we all know that uh, spruce uh, or any gum or resin is a great fire starter. So I know we have birch bark here, but Let's see if we can just light that on its own. Smelling good. So the one match thing failed, but it did catch. So try again. Temp number two. a little hot so I'm not saying we're gonna give up on that but we're gonna light the birch the birch bark and see what goes on from there There's always an easier way. As you can see, just turn the sausage around here. They're starting to look really good. We're up a few inches off the flame. We have ourselves a nice fire here this morning. Still haven't put water on for coffee, but not like it matters. It's only me and the rocks are the birds, the bees, and the, no bees, but the birds and the chipmunks and. I wish you could hear what's going on out here this morning. You got partridge drumming, 
looking for a mate. Chipmunks are just a squabbling. A woodpecker looking for breakfast, like I am. I'm not looking, I'm just cooking, but. Anyway, stay tuned. Right now, it's uh, the warmth of a fire. Not that it's cold, but it feels really, really good. Hearing that grease drippings into the free, into the fire. I don't know if you can see them, but you can hear them. But uh, it's starting to look really yummy. So we'll be able to let one cool off for Roxy. Hi, right, pop. Yeah. So, anyways, stay tuned, y'all. Just gave the sausage a last flip. That's starting to look pretty good. I figure out how we're gonna do some eggs on this. We didn't bring a frying pan, but we got our little pot for coffee, but that's already being used. So, we might have to scrap the egg idea, but maybe not. Let's see what we'll come up with. Hey y'all, got a nice little spot here. We're gonna cook up these eggs. So, vitamin water, but it's only a bottle. Um, smash two eggs in it, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of shredded cheese, and some mushrooms. Who says it's single-use bottles? Actually, I freeze those and reuse them quite often. Freeze them with egg and fixings inside and use them quite often for kayaking and camping trips. So, just tending fire here a little bit. Got our eggs and mushrooms going here. Not burning. Actually not bad in a little pot too. It doesn't look like it's gonna stick. It's not too bad anyways. Try and save the little plastic handles on there. That. Our water's almost boiling for coffee. And it's got to perk for a bit. So let's put my gloves on. Hands aren't made of steel. A little warm. Oh, cheese is melted right nicely. So we took the sausage off here, letting them rest. I Roxy's eyeballing them. So am I actually. They look pretty, really, really good. So. flame. I'll just use the coals. Won't be long, we'll be eating. Hey folks. So, eggs are just about done. Sauce has been resting for a few minutes. They're done dripping. And, uh, the sights and the smells around here this morning are just awesome. I'm crying a little bit. I got a little bit of smoke in the eyes, but See, we're done. Eggs are done. So we'll just put that off to the side. Thank God for that bench, that fallen tree. Actually using it uh, quite nicely for uh, a table. So, anyways, I'll uh, cut the video here. And... Uh, when you see me again, I'll uh, be cutting the sausage open and uh, we'll give you guys a smellogram of that and uh, share that with Roxy if it's cooled enough. Hey folks, so here's the sausage. We put that on the 
10-ounce pot holder. This one nice cut down the center. And that is cupped through and through. Beautifully done, if I don't say so myself. I'll cut the smaller one. We'll put our Y stick away. But I don't know if you guys can see that, but beautifully, beautifully done. Cooked through and through. This is going to be awesome. Taste test. Cook privileges. Oh, wow. You guys should be out here enjoying this with me. So we'll cut it up. It'll cool off a little faster. Be able to share it with Roxy. So I'm not going to eat all of this by myself, but... Oh, folks, that is good. That nice little smoke favor. A good sausage. Okay, folks. There you go. So, eggs and mushroom. My uh, awesome freaking sausage over the open fire without the uh, sausage skin. Loving it. Come on, peace rocks. Come on. Take it. Loving life today. Hey y'all. So, finally got my cup of coffee. Had an awesome breakfast. Like I said, you should be out here. The breakfast was awesome. I got chipmunks, squirrels, grouse, woodpeckers. The bush is alive. God, I hope you guys can hear that. But like I said, the bush is alive. You can tell we still have buckets of snow. Tons. There is obviously open areas where I was able to make my fire, but big old balls from there, another one over there. Just, uh, you know, the snow didn't accumulate underneath, or as much snow didn't accumulate underneath, but anyways. So we're not too far there, we're only. I don't know, 30 meters or so from, uh, sorry, from the uh, spruce trees that I hacked up. So we're going to have a look at that. This is the first time I'm uh, two camera. Um, and obviously the GoPro on my head and uh, my Olympus there in my hands. So we'll be able to zoom in on stuff if we uh, we get into, get to see something. But, uh, Roxy's out chasing chipmunks this morning or squirrels. So. Anyways, stay tuned. The adventure's not over yet. So folks, we're on the move again. Had a super awesome breakfast. We're on the remnants of my snowshoe trail. It's the only reason I can walk without going through, but I'll probably go through. Uh, I said, still lots of snow in the bush. But uh, we're just having a look at the spruce trees that uh, I scuffed up there. There's a few right ahead here. So it doesn't look like the snow's too, too deep. These are the trees that I uh, went into the fiber of the tree. I don't know what I did there, but it's not a spruce tree. This is a spruce tree. Just to say I touched the fiber in this one and uh, has a little bit of resin at the top, but that's about it. So I have a couple more marked close to here. 
Just gonna have a peek and uh, anything interesting I'll show you. Hey folks, note to self, bring snowshoes. Snowshoe season ain't over. Huffing and puffing is because I'm breaking through. So this is another one where I got into the fiber and it doesn't have uh, very much. Just a little bit at the top, but look at that big chunk of resin. We'll come back and harvest that in a little bit. So I got a few more trees and uh, if I'm to do this, I should do this in the fall without any snow on the ground. Um, I did this with a lot of snow and I'm standing, I'm broken through, probably standing still on six inches of snow and the bottom of that is at eye level. This gives you an indication of uh, how much snow we got this year. So we'll go check out a couple more of these and see what's So I'm walking by and I see this. And this is obviously a beaver once upon a long time ago thought he could take down this tree. This tree's got to be like 24 inches in diameter. And that wound has to be 20 plus years old. But pretty cool though, eh? Hey tubers. So a little closing clip. Not too far from uh, where I'm parked. Still on the trail with Roxy. So those that are you subscribed, uh, been following me on my adventures out in the snow, on my snowshoe trail and stuff. I'm basically all on the same piece of uh, real estate where I've been doing all of this. So uh, I've shared the trail with you, obviously me and Rox, and my wife's been along, a few friends, but uh, I've shared it obviously with all the animals that live here. I've had everything from grouse, uh, squirrels, chipmunks, rabbits, fox, I even shared the trail with wolves. Well, it's May 4th. May the 4th be with you. Yeah, I'm a little bit of a nerd sometimes. But uh, I got a set of tracks here I'm going to show you that I'm sharing the bush with another creature. Um, I did forget to mention moose. I have uh, have moose on the uh, on the trail system too, but I don't know if you can see these. I was looking at them and they have five toes. And they go across the road here. For obviously last night's. But they have five toes. And it's a fairly heavy animal. So now I'm having to share my trail with black bears. They're out, they're awake, there's nothing there for them to eat, except for me and Roxy maybe, but uh, they don't scare me. I usually make enough noise that uh, they don't come around, but uh, no, I just thought I'd share that with you. Um, we're on their turf, we're in their home, so we gotta respect them. Uh, anyways, it's a uh, closing clip, so uh, if you like what you see, hit me a like button, and uh, if you aren't already subscribed, hit the subscribe, hit the bell for notifications for new uploads, and uh, we'll catch you all later in the woods crafting.